How's it going out there? This is a Kindle Fire for Beginners tutorial. I'm going to go over all the basic information you need to know to operate and function your Kindle. After this video, you should be able to at least have a basic understanding of where everything is, how to maneuver the menus, and just kind of how to get around. Okay? So I'm going to start with um, uh, this right here. This is the bottom of the Kindle, and this is the the USB or a micro USB uh, input uh, your charger plugs in here and there's also a a separate cable you can purchase it's a micro USB to USB you would actually plug up into here and into the computer to transfer files back and forth from the Kindle so um, that's an important thing to know we also have right here this is the headphone jack where you can plug in headphones and this is the power button slash the sleep button so when we press it once it turns it off and it turns green if we press it twice or hold down the button uh... it'll prompt and ask you if you want to shut down the kindle so right now we're going to say cancel because we do not want to do that other than that there are no other buttons on the kindle there's two speakers at the top right here but there's no other inputs or plugins um, that's it so a real simple design. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on here. So now we're on. So once you turn on the Kindle, in order to actually open it up, you want to take your finger and you want to slide it to the left just like that. And that takes you into the Kindle, okay? Uh, so after that, what we want to do is I'm going to go over uh, what's what, okay? And I'm going to start with the top. There's a little wheel at the top. This is called your quick settings, okay? It took me about 10 minutes to find that when I first got it, so I didn't know how to do anything. So you'll be a lot quicker or a lot uh, more ahead of the game because you know where this is. And when you tap on that little wheel, um, this is your quick settings bar right here. Um, we tap on uh, unlock or lock. This is if you want to lock the screen. So right now it's unlocked. So if I turn it sideways, it'll actually uh, switch to the sideway view or what's called uh, landscape. But if I turn it back, guess what? It'll switch. If I lock this, when I go sideways, it will not switch over. It'll stay long ways. Okay. So that's up to you if you want to lock the screen. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, next we have is the volume. When we tap here, we uh, hold down and we just move left and right. And um, that's kind of how we uh, pull the volume up and down. Okay. Um, there are no volume buttons on the actual Kindle. This is the only way you can turn the volume up and down. So it's important to know where that is. Uh, next we have the brightness. This is how you'll... Um, you know obviously turn the brightness up and down this is good to know for when you're reading because um, sometimes you want to turn the brightness down just so uh, it's not so much on your eyes um, next we have the Wi-Fi this is how you connect to different Wi-Fi networks we have sync this is how you uh, sync what's in your uh, Amazon cloud uh, if you've just uploaded something new if you hit sync usually it'll download it right to the Kindle and you'll be set and then we have more this is like your in-depth uh, settings menu so we're not going to get into what's in here right now but that's pretty much how you get to it is uh, you know quick start or quick menu right here um, or quick settings excuse me quick settings and we hit more and that takes you right there okay the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, we have on the left here it has the name of your Kindle, it says Wayne's Kindle, and then um, I have a little one in the corner. Now, you won't always see something right here, but when you will see something here is when you have a notification. This is the notification center, okay? When we tap on that one, it'll show you um, what notification is coming up. So, in this case, I have a words with friend notification, and uh, it says that person has played, okay? So, now I'm going to clear that out because... Once I've read it, there's no need for me to keep it in there. So if you have numbers up here, that's notification. So pull it up, check it, and then clear it out. Uh, next thing we have what's called uh, the carousel. 
And these are basically all the latest apps or websites or books or whatever you've opened recently will um, open up in the carousel right here. And you can just swipe left and right with your finger to go through it. Um, there's a feature where, like, let's say if you use Netflix a lot, you can hold down and it'll prompt and ask you, do you want to add this to your favorites? And if you click add to favorites, it actually moves it down here, which is, this is your favorites uh, section. Okay? So these are all the things that you use the most, and it'll move it right down here for you. Okay? Um, next we have what are called your libraries, and this is these... Uh, seven um is it seven yeah these are these seven tabs right here so you have your newsstand library for like magazines newspaper um we have books music video this is where you go to view uh what content you have on the kindle so if you have songs on there you would click on music and that's where you would find them if you have books you would go under books and that's where you'd find what you already have downloaded um you can also and I'll, let me show you one real quick if we go to um, books, you can actually see the contents you have. You can separate it by author, by what you've opened recently, and by the title. And then you can go to the store, and this is where you would go to actually uh, purchase books. So each uh, library has its own um, has its own store, so you can download and uh, purchase. Um, so there's a library for just about everyone. And then you have your web. This is how you get on the internet. Click on web. And um right now it just these are all the favorites that are bookmarked. But we can tap up here and we can either do a keyword search or we can just type in a website. So it'll do both. So that's really convenient right there. Um at the bottom here, um we have the option bar, okay? And I've, I've already been using this a lot, but basically what this does is um, this allows you to get back to the main screen. So whenever you're in something and you want to get back to that, that first view I just showed you, you want to click on the home icon. Click on that, and it takes you back here. Disclaimer too, I'm using a little stylus. This is made by Bamboo. This does not come with the Kindle Fire. This is something I purchased separately for about 30 bucks. So... I don't want to get you too excited. You're like, oh, does that come with it? No, that's a separate add-on piece. Um, so when you're on the main home screen, you will not see that option bar. You only see the option bar when you navigate away from the home screen. So like if I go to music, guess what? Now my option bar is up. Um, I can use this button. It's, this is like a back arrow. So if I want to, let's say I go to store, and I want to go back to the previous window I was on, I'm going to click on the back arrow, and then it should take you back to that page before. Every so often, it might take a little second, but there it is. takes you right back. And there's also a search. If I had music, I could hit search, and I could type in a certain song, and it would pull it up for me. Okay? So we'll go to home here. And um, that's pretty much it. Those are the basic functions you need to know. Upper right corner, we have this little symbol next to the... Next to the quick uh, settings button, we have the Wi-Fi symbol, and this is letting you know that you're on the internet. So when you see that uh, symbol, that means you are connected to the internet. If you don't see it, you're not on the internet, and then you really can't download or go on any websites. Uh, we also have um, our battery indicator right here, so we can also see how much battery life we have left. And then we have our key search at the top. You can search for anything on your Kindle just by going right here so for instance I have uh, Hulu downloaded on my Kindle so I can type in Hulu on the home screen and I can pull up the app just like that okay um, and then it'll load it up for me I'm gonna get out of that I'm gonna go to my home and the option button I can also search the web from here so I can look up uh, ESPN and that actually pulls up an app but I can Right now it's on library, so it's searching content that's on my Kindle. I want to hit web, and now I can actually do a, a full web search of ESPN. So that's just a great quick guide to just, you know, uh, search anything online that's always on the home screen. That's our search button. And then it keeps the page open for you because that was your most recent thing. So 
this was a, a Kindle Fire for beginners. Uh, after this tutorial, you should be good on at least the basics of where everything is and where everything does. And I'll post some more videos to give you some more detailed information uh, a little bit later, okay? Hope that was helpful. Have a good one. And um, if there's any specific any, any things you want to like learn how to do on the Kindle, just send me a comment. And I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. All right? Take care.